was diagnosed in July 2023 after 18 months with symptoms. What were some of your early symptoms of MND? The first one was yawning excessively. That followed having COVID. So my symptoms continued and my voice was becoming slurred by summer 22. I always worried that it could be MND but I was told by two neurologists that it wasn't. I didn't know what it was. When I was told my world fell apart. I understand that you have a daughter <sighs> um, and you're quite close with her. <sighs> so what was life like before you, you know, family life and, and your kind of horse riding I guess before that MND diagnosis? very busy and working with children which i loved how have you found riding and you know looking after your horses and caring at the stables how have you found that help you through the dark times of mnd mm. it's very difficult with all the work mm. but i feel that it gives me a purpose and i wouldn't be without them yeah have you found that your bond with your horses has grown stronger because yeah. you spend more time together? Yeah. yeah. In terms of the uh, managing the pain, obviously I've read in some of the information you shared with me that it's been quite painful. How have you managed that and what pushes you to keep going? I pace myself and only do what I can and I have wonderful family and friends and partner who help me. You have your daughter Elle. And can you tell me a bit more about Elle and your partner and how they are able to support you through your MND? She is only 16 but she had been wonderful. She understands my speech. Mm. She has stepped outside comfort zone and talks for me when I can't. Brave for a 16 year old, isn't it? Very brave. We go away a lot still and I'm so proud of the young lady she has become. That's lovely. And my partner has been amazing and treats me like I am still the same. We have always had humour which we still carry on with. What's the best thing about your mum? Her motivation for everything. She's like the bravest person I know. I think that's keeps me going mm. with everything. The association is able to offer support grants and support loans towards things like that. Mm. Um, have you received anything like that from the association? Mm. Yeah. They were wonderful and got me an iPad. Oh, lovely. And what do you use the iPad for? I have the Predicable app that has a voice used from my voice notes. But it doesn't sound like me as I didn't have enough minutes. I would suggest to others to use voice notes in case they ever need it and there is also an option on iPhone to voice bank. Is there any advice that you would, or anything you would like to share to someone who has just been diagnosed with MND? It's very hard at first to process everything but after a while I would advise to keep positive, have hope and live each day to the fullest. Everyone is different with the journey and it's key not to compare yourself with others. Thank you so much for taking time to listen to my story with MND.